The movie I'm going to talk about today is one of my dad's favorite from the late 80s, uh, Stand and Deliver, featuring Edward James Olmos, who was better known at the time for his work with Miami Vice, and uh, definitely a change of character when he took on this role of a teacher who uh, heads to school thinking he's going to be teaching one thing and um, ends up teaching something else. Uh, it does show one of the trends of some people where they will leave one career, uh, in his case working with computers, to go teach computers and because there are no computers finds himself teaching math. And one of my favorite parts about this and likewise with my family was how he connects with students in a variety of ways and methodologies. Everything from uh, exploring fractions using apples into come here, come here. showing how to use fingers for the nine times tables. You're the finger, the finger. I'm, the finger. I'm the two and two. You know what I can, what I can do? An automobile. An automobile. Nine, 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 times, nine three. times three. Two, three. Two, two. Two. What do you got? What do you got? Twenty-seven. Six times. Six times. Six times. Two, 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 three, five, three, five, five, six. Five, six. What do you got? What do you got? One hard, one hard, one hard, eight times, eight times nine. nine. Two, three, two, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. What do you got? What do you got? Seven, seven. Eight. And of course, the movie also gives us good reminders about some of the obstacles that the learners have at home. Because just because we say go home and work hard on your work doesn't mean there aren't going to be struggles we're not thinking about. Could you please turn off that light? That light? But he challenges the students to ha rise to expectations, and that's definitely one of the themes as well. Uh, even though we're focusing on a test, you can do great things, even though you have to work hard and you might fall asleep. Good, good. Go back to sleep. That's very good. Okay, okay any, questions? any questions? Yes, no, yes, nothing. No, nothing. Okay. okay. And of course, the focus is towards getting the students ready for an AP calculus test, which eh, based on their postal code, or sorry, their postal code, zip code, and their last names, uh, they would normally not be considered and definitely were not considered eligible to even bother with that type of course. And while the movie shows it in a two-year process, in reality it was four-year process to get students ready to go from introductory math into uh, calculus AP in order to give these families a and the these students uh, a first opportunity to earn college credit. And yet yeah, that meant extra class time in the mornings, after school, on weekends. <sighs> and they worked hard enough that uh, they all did it extremely well. Uh, so well, in fact, that it triggered a bit of a investigation to see why so many students ended up making some of the same mistakes. And as the teacher goes, maybe it's because they had the same teacher and it of course forces us to do some consideration uh, in this 90% true 10% created story about the connections being made between teachers and students and loyalty and when the students finally agree to go back and redo the test of course the teacher is still worried about what's going to happen uh, the testing format as we look back on it in particular might be a little dated but it was the tool at the time and as they redid the test, well, that's, that's what kind of the question was. Would they do just as well? And as most of us will know, if you've done the learning so that it's focused on learning and not just about rote memorization, even though we go step by step, inch by inch, you can redo the test and still get the equivalent scores. As we wait for the end of the movie yes, with a yes, nice little celebration where they're checking so on the test scores it. to see yes, what yes, the results are in. And of course they kept well, delaying it do. to create some dramatic tension. When they get the results of the second test, it confirms the learning that authentically took place. Whether it was the first test or second test, the teacher and students accomplished a great goal. And I can see what my dad liked about it with students who would be considered more by their address than what their abilities were, uh, being able to overcome those obstacles and show that learning can impact every life. Stand and deliver. Definitely worth a rewatch.